If you're having trouble closing a sale, use these non-aggressive closing questions to help you further. These closing questions have been designed to make your customer or client feel more comfortable with the process without giving them an advantage over you. Here's some closing sales questions you should be using. Would you like my help? This is a standard question which is both friendly and gentle without portraying you as weak. Why don't you give the product or us a try? Using this form of a question actually plays on psychology, instead of purchasing or committing to a deal. The potential client is giving the product or your business a chance, which in their eyes can decrease the amount of risk attached to the deal. It seems like the product is a good fit for your company. What do you think? This type of question can be great because you're asking them their opinion. They'll either say yes, the product is great and you can progress from there. Or they will say no, it isn't and list their reasons. Thus, you can also turn any reasons into a positive. Will you commit to doing business with us today? This question is an old school approach. However, it can still work well in many industries and sectors. Typically, a sales professional has to have a secure command of the situation and a high level of understanding with their buyer to use this closing line effectively. What happens next? What happens next can be a great question to use. It puts your customer in a false position of being in charge of the situation. However, you're actually in charge because you're driving and shaping the conversation. What happens next can be used when you feel like something is stopping your client from making a purchase. You can use this question to find out exactly what that is. Ready to move forward? I can send over the contract right now. Progress is always good, both for the customer and yourself. This question suggests a notion that a deal is getting closer, thus momentum is happening. By using this question, you're actually removing resistance from the situation, as the contract is ready right now to sign and complete. If we throw in a freebie, would that convince you to sign today? If you're conducting large deals, this question can sweeten the situation to your advantage. Of course, nobody wants to give anything away for free. However, an add-on could work nicely for your needs and requirements. Some companies like to offer price discounts instead of offering a freebie. However, this choice is up to you. Tell me your thoughts. Tell me your thoughts can be a good question to ask, as you can gauge and understand what your client or customer is thinking. Equally, you can also see how likely or ready they are to make a purchase. If they're unsure, this gives you the chance to figure out what's holding them back without trying to close a sale too soon. Let's talk about pricing. Let's talk about pricing is another classic closing sales question. After all, how many sales can be made or break on price? This question allows you to navigate away from the general conversation into the areas which really matter. Typically, after you've agreed a price with the client, the deal is closed not long after. Is there any reason, if we gave you the product at this price, that you wouldn't do business with our company? Typically, this form of question can be ideal for a wide range of situations. If the prospect answers no to this question, the sales professional has indirectly gotten them to agree to the contract. 
If the answer is yes, the salesperson has a chance to address objections without bringing the deal to a standstill. When can we begin? Asking when can we begin puts the pressure on your client for an answer. This will generally get your prospect thinking about the end result of the conversations and communications with you. It will also let you know what their time scale is. For example, they could say, we would like to start in one month. You know then a deal is pretty close. However, they could also say, we're not thinking about beginning until six months time. Remember, when can we begin can be good tactic if your client is stalling and makes them think further ahead.